In this video tutorial, we're going to explore a few simple steps you can take to speed up your Windows computer. The steps we will take can be applied to Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. First of all, let's talk about RAM memory. This is one of the easiest ways to speed up your computer, especially if your PC is a few years old. I'll cover the details of adding RAM in a future video, but here are a few guidelines to help you find out how much RAM your computer already has. So go to your Start button and go over to the Computer menu and right click and choose Properties. There we go. And then right here you will see that this Windows Vista machine has 3 gigabytes of RAM. This is a little low for what I do, but it seems to be okay. Um, I added one gigabyte of RAM a few weeks ago as my computer was slowing down, and this has made a world of difference. And soon I'm going to buy another gigabyte of RAM and bump it up to four. If you're using a newer Windows 7 or even a Windows 8 computer, you should probably have a minimum of four. Now what I'm going to say next may be quite topical, and I'm certain there will be people who disagree with me, but my advice now is to remove any Norton or McAfee products from your computer. Norton and McAfee used to be the only programs, really, that anyone would even consider, but now they've become, in my opinion, bloatware. They're, they're they do protect your computer, there's no doubt about it, but they also interfere with things like networking or uh, voice over IP or um, any kind of sort of interactive interactivity in your browser. It likes to block it. And it gets really annoying, and not only that, but it consumes resources on your computer. So my advice is to remove Norton and replace it with a free alternative such as AVG Free, which we'll talk about next. Here's how to download AVG Free, which is a great little program and it costs nothing. So we'll start by launching our web browser and going to the Google website, or it doesn't really matter which search engine you want to use, but let's uh, just type in here AVG free and then go to the link, click get it free, scroll down and click download. Do not click the green box free trial, just click download and then click download again. And there it is, down in the, in the box here. I'm going to go into my Downloads folder to retrieve it. Right there. Double-click that. And hit Continue. Okay, now just follow these prompts. Now, this is where they sometimes get you. Just click Basic Protection, because otherwise you're going to pay. So all we're getting is antivirus, anti-spyware, that's fine. Let's make our machine run as clean as possible. I will always choose Express Install. You could go custom, but let's just go Express. Now then, on this screen, most people will just click Next. I'm going to uncheck all of these options. I don't want toolbars. I don't want it changing my default search provider. And I do not want, uh, yeah, I don't want any of that extra stuff. I just want protection. So now that we've unchecked that, click Next, and it will install. And now we're going to uncheck this last little thing so we don't have to fill out these three boxes, and click Finish. Now don't be worried about this you are not fully protected message because all it's doing is updating its virus definitions and that will be done in just a few seconds. And there we have it. That's the completion of the next step in speeding up your computer.
The next step to help speed up your Windows PC, especially if your RAM size is 2 gigabytes or less, is to remove some or all of your system tray programs. Most of them are unnecessary and they rob your computer's overall performance, especially your boot time. Now, here's how we're going to check and see uh, how much memory is being used. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to go down to your menu bar here, right click and choose Task Manager. Now you can see that the, my computer is running at 97% almost and uh, that's probably because I'm running Camtasia right now. This is the application is consuming a lot of resources but we're also using 1.5 gigabytes of RAM memory and the only thing running is Windows and Camtasia. Uh, that seems like a lot of memory uh, particularly if your computer only has one or two gigabytes of memory, this is simply not enough. But we can reduce this number uh, to a much smaller amount by eliminating many of the startup programs. And that's these little items that are running down here in the system tray. So this is how you do that. We can close our task manager, go to the start button, and in the search box type msconfig. If you're running Windows XP, click the Start button and choose Run. Now, if you go to the Startup tab, you will see that all of these items in here need to run right at boot time, and all of that will slow your boot time by quite a bit. Now what I'm going to do is run through the list, we'll expand the box a little bit and show you what all of these things are and whether or not they are necessary. In my opinion, they're pretty much all unnecessary, but some of them do give you a little extra functionality on your computer, but most of them don't. And uh, the only one that is critical is the one at the very top, the internet security. We're going to talk more about internet security later on in this video, but right now we're just concerned with speeding up your computer by disabling most of these items in here. So what I'm going to do is click disable all and then I'm going to check only the items that I need at startup. And the internet security is critical so I'll put that in. All of these other ones are pretty well unnecessary. The Google Desktop, who needs it? iTunes, I can run iTunes from the desktop by by clicking on it. I do not need to have a little shortcut sitting in my task tray. It's just going to slow the machine down. The other one I use all the time is Dropbox, so we'll include that. Now it's time to reboot the computer after we've disabled most of these startup items. I've chosen a few because some of them, like the Logitech programs, do provide a little more functionality that I do want to keep. I've kept my Dropbox, I've kept my, in, my, uh, I've kept my internet security, and now it's time to reboot. So we'll just click Apply and OK. And then it asks me if I want to restart. So we will click on Restart and see how that improves. Now if you look over here we've got 1.53 gigabytes of memory being used with only Camtasia Studio and Windows itself running. This number should get significantly reduced. So let's go ahead and restart. Okay, we want to see if we've improved our performance by removing a lot of those startup items. Let's go back to the task manager and see how much memory is being used now. I've just rebooted and let it settle down a little bit and you can see over here uh, we've got m many fewer icons in the task tray, the system tray. And now let's go down to the task manager by right-clicking 
and choose Task Manager. With your particular computer, if you had a lot of processes running in your system tray, then you are going to see a significant improvement here. In my case, there wasn't a huge amount, but it did boot a lot quicker. So it's still worth doing. 